Holla peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. Holla. Happy Whacked Out Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great work week. It's almost over. You know, it's hump day. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed last night's show. You know, sorry I wasn't live. I was I was exhausted. Very exhausted last night. Let me move this a little bit. Should I move that away? And uh, I was actually asleep by 9.15. But if you did not hear Monday night show, you got to go back and listen to it. I mean, it was a side of Michael we'd never seen before. Wait do I tell you guys tonight after he slammed the phone down because we didn't believe his new girlfriend was over 18. She told Michael that she was 29, you guys. This girl's obviously not 29. So anyway, he said he wanted her to call in. I told him no. The show is for adults only. Okay. Get me in trouble. Shit. Okay. No, thank you. And he got mad. He said he was going to prove to us. He was going to prove to us she was 29. I was trying to explain to him that he has to be careful meeting girls on these sites. Because, you know, dude, you be getting set up. All these girls, these young looking girls. So anyway, he got mad and slammed down the phone. Then he emailed us after the show. That, my friends, is what we'll talk about tonight. Be there. Go to shereeandbaby.com. Thank you, Brenda. You fixed everything. It's wonderful. You know. I want to thank our, our other guy, too, who maintains the site. You know, we found him on Craigslist. But there was just a whole bunch of links on the site that didn't make sense. You know, so we had to take them down. It was odd. So, you know, holla at him. I love my dentist. See, it was this tooth. Like, everybody's telling me they couldn't tell. I could tell. Every time I would smile, I'd feel self-conscious. Could see this tooth when I was little. I chipped it. I'm doing Cherie TV. I chipped that was baby. And then when I grew up, you know, and got a job with dental and stuff, he fixed it. Okay. But then one day. Not too long ago, if you listen to the show, you remember I was opening an old Milwaukee non-alcoholic beer with my front teeth like this. Guess what? The back of the tooth, just a part of it, chipped off. So I still had the whole front of it, but the back, I feel it on my tongue. I felt like you could see through it, you know what I mean? So, my doctor fixed it for me. Isn't that nice? I feel like I got work done. It's nice. Now I'm thinking about getting this gap, which I've had since childhood, but um, I think I fucked it up because I got one of those cheap night guards from the grocery store. And I, you know how you have to bite into the mold while well, I slept in it? I could feel my teeth were wider than they were when I went to bed. You know what I'm saying? Hollow. I was looking like Bobby Brown. So, you know, he, my dentist was like, I like the gap, you know. It adds to your character. But I mean, like, really? I look like Bobby Brown. Do you know what I'm saying? And as I get older, I don't want no big-ass gap in between my two front teeth. 
When you can squirt water through it, it's time to bond it together, honey. So I knew baby wasn't really down for it, so I told him I would have to talk to my wife about getting bonding. But I think I will. You know? Hollow. You know? I don't think I'll touch my nose or, you know, anything like that. Because I look like my dad. Exactly like my father. You know? He wouldn't mind if I got the gap closed. What she said a gap? Just call me the gap like the store. You know what I'm saying? That's my nickname now, the gap. Is that this thing? I mean, I know he said it's set and everything, but I'm still afraid to brush my teeth because I don't want to fuck it up. Still 30? No, seriously, honey. Yeah, but he said, you know what he said? I can't put my teeth, like, because I have an overbite, thank God. Holla at the overbite. But he said I can't go like this. I told him, I said, I have really no reason to do that in my life. Like, but then I realized I do. You know what I do? My love? Hello? I bite my lip, my bottom lip. Sometimes, you guys know what I mean. Like, I'll be like, but when you do that, you're biting tooth to tooth. And I don't want to fuck it up. It hasn't been long. It's only been like two days. But that's okay, because I brushed them real good before I went to the dentist. Can y'all see? And you know what's funny? Is I had a dream the other day, and this is for my friends, all of y'all, from Delaware to Virginia State to Mount Pleasant, to Darley Road, Carolyn Brown, St. Mark's, all my friends, listen, had a dream that these two teeth, and I should do my nails, they fell out. Now, you might say, Cherie, what's this have to do with me? Here's the deal. Whenever I dream about my teeth falling out, so I do have those dreams. It's probably also a fear, but whenever that happens, somebody that I know gets pregnant. Never fails. So if you're someone in my life, even if I haven't talked to you in a long time, yeah. What's up with the delay? How'd that happen? Oh no. What's up? It's like a Chinese movie. Hmm. Here. And you know what, y'all? I have to start over with the quitting smoking. Shit. I did well. It's a good fight. You know, they should have rehabs for people that smoke. Yeah, you know, I don't smoke as much. Like, I realized that what I did was I think I, I smoked myself into a nicotine overdose. And that's why I quit, you know what I'm saying? Because I told you guys that even on the air. You know. I, I enjoy my cigarettes. As long as I don't feel sick. Yeah, if I start to feel sick again, I'll quit again. Holla.
you know, thank you to all the people to say that I had inspired them. Well, maybe I'll inspire you now. Fuck it. It happens. It's really cigarette. I gotta go plug in the computer right now, so I have to say to all my peeps in the street, I love y'all. Holla. Go www dot. You know what I'm saying? Shrimpberry.com. That's it. Get love lullaby. Give it to somebody you love. Yeah. Anybody.